Hello and welcome back to Transmitting Until Robots Replace Us. My name is Drew, call sign AC3DS. And today for our two minute tutorial, we're gonna look at the ICOM 7300's memory features, right? The memory channels, the M-pad, uh, the V slash M button, and how you can make your life a little bit easier if you find yourself going back to, uh, you know, the same frequencies over and over again. So let's put two minutes on the clock. There are two main ways of thinking about memory in the ICOM 7300, short-term and long-term. So let's talk about both. The short-term first, that's the M pad or the memo pad. Click on the memo pad and you'll see that there are by default five empty slots to store information into. You can store that information by going into, you know, whatever normal view you have and finding a particular frequency and then holding down the M pad button, the memo pad button. Once you hear that double beep, you know it's been saved. If I scroll again, I find another frequency. There, I've saved a second one. And here, I'm just going to save a third one. To switch and toggle between the three that I've saved, I just press the button lightly. Once, twice, thrice. And there we go. We can toggle between them. If I want to see the information that I've saved in, onto my sticky note, right, here it is. It's all there, and I can choose to delete it if I'd like to by holding down the delete all and choosing yes. So that's the short-term memory. But what about long-term memory, things you're going to want to come back to often? Well, that's the memory channels. And here we have the, some of the memory channels that I have saved. And so here you can see that they've been given a name, a designation, uh, and other information has been saved. So the way that you do this and the way that you work these is by, let's just go to a normal view for me here. Um, instead of being on the VFO mode, I'm going to choose the memory by clicking the V slash M button. So now, uh, there I am. Now I'm in the memory mode. Um, so I know that I'm in the memory mode there. By it says M memo 7, and now memo 6, 5, 4. And so you can see 4 has the name Beacon there. Uh, 3 East Coast, 2 5 AM Talk. And you can add to these by just choosing any frequency and then choosing Menu memory and and finding an empty time an empty slot holding it down and then choosing memory right and saying yes then you can hold it down again and choose edit name and give it a name and then choose enter and now it's saved there are other ways of doing this but that's just a quick way of showing you how to use memories in the icom 7300 i hope that helped